physics takes a lot of heart okay i mean just makes sense you need to love the subject if you're gonna put up with it for two years if you say you don't understand everything and they look at you funny that is none of your business say i don't understand everything from the beginning they have to explain i think i loved wearing the lab coat more than the actual biology of it to this day i still do not know what it was that i was high on that made me choose four subjects in the Welcome back to my channel where we're about growth and good energy. If it's your first time here, welcome. If it's not your first time here and you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thanks for coming. Let's get to it. So today our video is going to be just a little bit lengthy and that's only because it's packed guys. Packed with information for you. So yeah. So I got a couple of people to share their a level experiences with their subjects and friendships and everything in between so yeah this is gonna be super detailed every different section of the video is marked down below in the description box just in case you want to skip to something or go back and forth or watch it all it doesn't really matter that's fine and I know results aren't out yet but you can still think about these things and not have to decide your combination the day before you have to you know what i mean so yeah stay tuned it's super detailed and yeah i'm excited for you guys to see this enjoy the video i wish i knew before taking on a level physics let's go one go in with a positive mindset okay so i'll give an example of myself so i've always loved physics right down to form one when i discovered what physics was i knew that in a level i was going to do it right but here's the thing when i got to lower six and it was time to choose a level subjects just like you guys i asked people what should i expect what's physics like and none of them i kid you not none of them gave me any hope whatsoever they told me that physics was hard. I will regret the day I chose physics. I will never have a social life if I choose to do physics at A level. Yeah, and all those strange things. No one gave me any hope whatsoever. And because of it, I started physics with this mindset that, okay, it's hard. And because of it, I failed a couple of my first tests. Yeah, tests that I should have passed. I failed because I had it in my mind that physics was hard. So I'm here to tell you now that if you know that you're capable of doing the subject and you have the heart for it please do not listen to what any other person has to say you know go in with the right mindset go in ready for a battle because physics is hard go in knowing that you really can do the subject and you will pass i can guarantee it number two practice really does make perfect I can't stress this one enough, okay? Because physics, though being a beautiful subject, it's more than just, you know, memorizing a bunch of notes and then regurgitating them in an exam room, you know, and expecting to pass after that, you know? You actually have to spend time with the work, learn the concepts inside and out, like the back of your hand. You need to spend time doing past papers, questions from different textbooks, read widely, research as much as you can, all this in one year. Lower six, this is the Number three, physics takes a lot of heart, okay? I mean, just makes sense. You need to love the subject if you're gonna put up with it for two years, okay? So I believe that people a lot of people fail physics not because they didn't put in the work not because they're not smart enough but their heart is just not in it okay physics will get on your nerves sometimes right but because you love the subject that much 
you will get right back up and you will continue working on it because you just love the subject it just makes sense like that okay so yeah have the heart for the subject and do it to the best of your ability and you should be good i wish you guys all the best What I wish I knew before I picked my science subject, which is chemistry and bio. First of all, chemistry, you, when people tell you read before you even start learning the subject, and believe them, cause, cause it is this life is tough. You need to at least have read, even if you don't understand read, cause by the time the teacher is now introducing the thing to you. You've got an idea, you remember, it. oh, okay, so this is what it meant. And then, if you find you really, me, I, th I wish I knew this, like, if you find that you really can't understand from the beginning, go to your teacher and ask, and ask, and ask what you don't understand. Ask, if you say you don't understand everything and they look at you funny, that is none of your business. Say, I don't understand everything from the beginning, they have to explain. And if worst comes to worst, look for an extra lessons teacher because those people help. They are very good teachers that are even cheaper than the teachers they pay at school who are out there, undiscovered talent. There's people who know those subjects. Biology is a content-based subject. It's another subject where you have to read in advance, like a whole chapter before you start the chapter. So that you've got an idea. And research, there's very fun stories out there on certain topics like you know how like the john's book has got like a page i remember i think for, for you remember the, it's got the first page where they tell you a story based on those things those things help because you've got like you know i have like background knowledge with okay so this is used in this kind of field this is used in this so I read before read the whole chapter before you know i took the statement for granted until i started struggling then i was like no what let me go back to the basics that stuff helps because now you understand good okay so this is what the teacher was now talking about this is what i read when now the teacher is talking now you know what they're saying so you might not listen to this but i think this should help like reading in advance is just it's something people take for for granted because everyone wants to be on their social media and stuff but once you start struggling you realize social media won't get you anyway Hey guys, it's Minetle and today I'm going to talk about the subjects that I did for A-level. So I did biology, maths and geography and I also did AS English. The first days I loved biology, I think I loved wearing the lab coat more than the actual biology of it. Um, <laughs> but biology biology needs reading it needs a lot of reading yo you have to read and then with practicals you have to practice um yeah practice at home if you can if you can't thing practice. is with biology it's either you know or you don't know trust me um multiple choice everything will look correct and that's how you end up getting 10 out of 40 read biology needs reading i like bala vuli buru bala yo biology biology will humble you biology is like maths biology is like that step sister like <laughs> that's mm -hmm. the step mother biology is the step sister <laughs> you can't play with a level and i did maths hey you know when you think that you passed your extended meds, oh my gosh, you're feeling like a brand new girl or feeling like, yeah, I did that. I showed Cambridge with minimum reading, I passed meds. A-level. A-level meds. 
Whomst are you? You are not the girl. With A level maths, I feel like you need to practice, practice extra lessons. I cannot emphasize more on extra lessons. Even have two extra lessons teachers. Because maths is not your friend. Guys, I feel like I didn't aim high for myself in maths. Like I was happy with the 50%. 50% we celebrated home. <laughs> that I brought 50%. But right. My advice again for Matt is that find a study partner. Do not get your friend who's failing with you. You are both getting 30%. No. Find someone who's getting 80% because they know stuff that clearly you do not. Honestly. Find that study partner. Find time in your free periods and read together, study together ask questions um if you can't actually go for extra lessons try having a study buddy and try asking your teachers for help in class don't keep quiet raise your hand and be like i do not understand because your parents are paying school fees and honestly if you're going to school and you're not understanding what's the point of going to school then? ask the questions we are paying to ask questions Hi, hi, I'm um, this is Lian Lovu. So for my A level subjects I did math, biology and chemistry. What I wish I'd known before I picked the subject is that with sciences what the teacher teaches you is not all there is to it. Like it's it's not the only thing. You're always going to have to do more research. There's always something extra sometimes actually what what happened is you write a past paper then learn some things from your corrections like what the teacher could teach you is never like everything so you're gonna have to be in the reference looking up more stuff just getting more information it's science is it's one of those things that makes more sense the more you know but at the same time it's like there's so much to know in science there's just too much like if you were to that it doesn't fit in the syllabus so they have to cut it into a syllabus so to to understand more you have to know more and to know more it means now doing your own research outside of you know but i mean you you can pass with just reading the syllabus but there's always that yeah just have to know a bit more so don't rely only on your notes you're going to have to be like looking on internet getting lots of textbooks so yeah with sciences what i noticed was we had the most textbooks out of all the other subjects and that doesn't mean um i don't mean to say that like we learned more or what or all the subjects that like, learn equally i think so but you just with sciences like you need more references that's the thing like you need a lot of references so you're going to be dealing with a lot of textbooks and you need to be someone who's able to study like continuously you have to be someone who's like yeah able to study like all the time almost almost for fun i don't say <laughs> you can never study for fun but like almost it almost has to be like a, a like a lifestyle kind of, of studying that's, that's what it is with sciences um one second point you you have to get in there with self-esteem guys like science is not a joke i've seen the smartest girls people who are like absolutely smart the kind that like were going on stage every day get 30 percent 20 percent like all the time that that was like a class average you can imagine a, a class full of it could be a class full of like people with with the best all level results and they can have an average of like 40 percent or something like that it's it's tense you're gonna get bad results but don't give up just keep going 
it's it's like that for everybody because i i think i didn't know that it's that bad so i kind of got a shock when i got the thought, oh my god i'm doing this wrong but no um don't worry it, it happens to the best of us but at the same time don't get comfortable and think no i can feel it happens to everyone like it's easy to fall into the trap of ah oh, if i'm failing this so i'm done i'm not even going to try don't fall into that trap and also don't fall into the trap of I'm not good enough, I'm not what, I'm not, no matter how much I try, just keep trying, no matter what you get, trust me, keep, keep going till the last two, you write your final exam, no matter what, even if the day before your final exam, you write a past paper and get a low, low mark, just keep pushing till the last, it pays off, trust me, just, just keep pushing, don't lose your self-esteem, and also understand that, um, with sciences, what I noticed is it's the, it's like there's going to be parts where some people are better at certain things than others. Some people get in a certain topic than you. People that you think wouldn't like you have to lose your ego, get over yourself. There's no, there's no me. I'm smarter than this one, and there's like no, all that isn't there in sciences. One person will do good one day, one person will do bad one day. Like anyone can pass it, anyone's like anyone's game really. So you just have to lose the ego and don't get intimidated. Mm. Yeah, I think those are my main points when it comes to sciences. I believe, yeah, those are my main points. So yeah, keep the self-esteem. It's a marathon. Maintain a pace. Start reading from day one. You can't understand the rest before you understand the first part. Like signs are uh, literally like that. Especially things like maths. Um, it's it's you, you all the all the little things you learn when like in like the first term, second term, you learn like really easy. Not not easy, but yeah, like it, it's not that bad in the first two terms. And you think, nah, I can really catch up on this. But those things become like you need them in the last part of your A level. So don't sleep on them. Keep them in your head. Just you always have to keep things in your head. It's not like O level where you learn one section, then you move on and it's completely irrelevant to the next section. Like there, everything joins together. So it always needs to be at the tip of your head. You need to revise all the time. You need to have the information always there. Like you cannot with the information it always has to be there because things just pop up one question can have six topics a topic from your lower six and a topic from your upper six so it all has to be there like tip of your fingers kind you can't forget stuff yeah um you survive it's not as demonic as i'm making it sound <laughs> You'll survive, you'll survive. Just don't beat yourself up when you don't do that good. You'll get there. It happens to the best of us. So yeah, good luck choosing. hey hi so i've been asked to talk about chemistry so there's a lot to say about it but i will start off by stating one fact about chemistry and that is 
it's probably one of the hardest subjects anyone could ever take and i'm saying this from experience so this began i think it was the day after igcse results came out we were called in at school and we were asked to um sign up for register for subjects that we would want to do for a level to this day i still do not know what it was that i was high on that made me choose four subjects and those were chemistry biology maths and physics but but that's okay because i only know now what i should have known then so yeah i chose three subjects and chemistry because honestly i cannot classify chemistry as a subject that one is a faculty on its own because there is a lot that has to be done for you to understand the basic concept in chemistry anyway i was hyped at first because i look forward to the practical aspect of things um when you're watching you know disney movies or any movie and then they're high school teens and then they have a prank assessment you see them doing this fun nice um experiments where they mix mix things and then you see liquids changing colors and then there's smoke coming out of test tubes green smoke yellow smoke blue smoke pink smoke pop smoke like literally smoke that pops but that's besides the point so i was very hyped i was happy i was looking forward to it the practical mostly but anyway i didn't know what lay ahead so fast forward to my first chemistry lesson um the topic was introduction to chemistry so when you hear introduction to anything you 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 think it's probably going to be basic concepts that you have to grasp onto so it's fine when you're now studying they probably won't take much of your time so it's cool I'm like you know what just let's hit it and then the teacher began teaching <clears throat> i could hear sorry i could hear what they were saying but i couldn't make of what they were actually saying they teach they teach and I, I would get lost for the most part i was so scared to ask the question because a question where i got lost because all my friends had their hands down and i thought they have it all figured out they seem to understand perhaps it's not all that hard right if i go home i should give myself time sit down and try to understand what it really was the teacher was trying to say a mistake i really hope none of you will make just because your friends are not putting up their hands does not mean you should also not put up your hand for all we know they could be scared as you are to lift up their hand cuz they think you have it all under control you have it all sorted you understand so whatever it is you feel you need clarification on do not hesitate to put your hand up that's what the teacher is there for give you the information discern it make you understand not just give you things and let you run off with it no they are there to make you understand but then if you're like me you're too shy to put up your hand you could always re- wait for the lesson to end or find time during your free periods to look for your teacher and ask them to clarify things for you anyway moving on uh so i'm like you know what it can't be all that different from o level right i played myself so i went home I, but then I was a bit lazy, and then I postponed everything to exit weekend. Like now, exit comes. I'm going to sit on this, and I'm going to, I'm going to, place it upon myself to try and understand basic concepts that I failed to understand at first. It was so overwhelming when I had all these notes, but I didn't know what to do with them. Another thing that A Devil taught me is you shouldn't leave things for later. You have to deal with the devil the minute you encounter him. So whatever it is you're given, try to find time and understand it. Don't postpone things for later because I promise you, it'll be so much for you to handle by the time you decide to actually sit down and look at it. So if you feel you don't understand, deal with it then and there. Don't wait for any other time because tomorrow is not promised, my guy. Anyway, that's besides the point. So. The time came where we were given a an end of topic test. So yeah. I thought I had it all under control, right? Cuz I felt I understood, but that wasn't the case. 
so we wrote the test oh it was it was very hard i can tell you that so when the papers came back you know i knew the 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 the, 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 the test was hard and i did expect to fail but not that dismal dismal fail so the papers came back and i think i had like a 13 if not an 18 percent that's how it was below 20 percent i was i was very disappointed like really disappointed anyway my friends also hadn't done as well but they did fairly better than me but they didn't do as well so that gives you a semblance of i think relief because you know you're not alone in this i know that's bad but that's how it is if you don't do well and your friends also don't do well you feel kissed i'm not in this alone but anyway i gave myself a pat in the back tried to comfort myself told myself that it's not the end of the world you'll get it next time anyway many more tests came i really wish i could say it got better but it got worse but the failing got better like I was failing, but it was better than the previous fail. Like my marks would fluctuate, and but it it didn't get better on a whole. Like I could, I wasn't improving at all. I was just in one position. There came a point where I made peace with the fact that I was probably never going to get the subject. It was just like I my fate was sealed with chemistry. There was nothing I could do. There was nothing I could do or anyone could do. No, no force in the universe could intervene in my predicament. I was ready to sit down with my parents, ask them, plead with them to, to not pay for my chemistry exam fee. Because honestly, it was just, it was a disaster. But then anyway, with the practical parts, it was worse than I had actually expected. No, don't get me wrong. We did those fun experiments where there was smoke and blah, 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 whatnot, colors changing. But it was very, it was stressful sometimes because there was in it the element of time management. I'm very poor with time management, but that one is a, it's not, that's on me, not on chemistry, that's on me. But then there are things like knowing colors. It took a whole practical lesson for me to know that I do not know colors as I thought I knew colors. I didn't know colors because there were certain shades that you were supposed to be seeing. And if it got darker, you had put too much. If it was too light, you had put, it has to be like the right color. And that was very stressful. And sometimes we hear the teacher say, you should be seeing colors like rose gold, sunset pink, those colors that you only hear about from the apple store i only knew of those colors because of apple there never was a point in my life where i tell someone you know what i want a sunset or rose gold dress so 2019 december holidays i contemplate and they needed me i'm a firm believer of everything happening for a reason and then i'm like i wouldn't be in this situation if i couldn't handle if i couldn't handle it God wouldn't put me in a situation where I would feel the need to give up and let it all go. So I tried to change my attitude towards chemistry because it was, the, the problem was the attitude that I had towards chemistry that affected everything. So I made it a New Year's resolution to be positive towards chemistry, try to understand it, build a better relationship little did i know that i was playing myself again and then the year began unfortunately i had a lot worse coming so as we all know the pandemic started (laughs) for the most for the most part i was at home and i didn't have my teacher with me because sometimes you would need to talk to your teacher face to face to get clarification on some things i couldn't do that and personally for me online learning was just not it so what i did was being home all the time it's you and your books no one else to monitor you so i ignored chemistry like you know i mized chemistry like i'd look at it and choose to do other I concentrated so much on the other subjects that I left chemistry and then I think it wasn't until April that it dawned on me that you know what 
you're going to be sitting an exam end of year and you haven't looked at chemistry at all you haven't made an effort it got so bad that i broke down and cried like have you ever been so stressed out about school and you get to a point where you feel like crying like i cried i legit cried i realized yeah you can cry all you want but chemistry is not going to change itself just because you think it's hard that's that's on you my sister you have to fix your things so you know after crying you feel like your whole life's changed i on that i felt angry like i was so angry and then i remember taking out everything chemistry related and i started working on chemistry i started you know my laptop there everything on my laptop i think 60 percent of the things that are school related are chemistry 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 that's all chemistry uh i looked for for videos on youtube tried to find online tutors it was it was a mess it was a disaster and i was running out of time i had other subjects and i had this one that i had failed to understand but then as time went on as i had promised myself to change my attitude my attitude towards chemistry i felt things started getting a bit better i had help from a few of my friends at school i'd phone them and then video call them whatsapp video call and then we'd talk and then they'd tell me why this is so why this is happening this day i am grateful to my friends that went out of their way to help me understand things. so yeah i felt i understood to some extent but now the real question was how well are you going to do in your papers so on google classroom our teacher would refer us to a paper give us a year and then we'd do the paper so i tried by all means to be honest do the paper on time alone without the aid of anything or anyone yeah when the grades came in they were okay not bad Uh, it wasn't the same i could see a slight improvement from the the grades that i was getting in class what kept me going was what i held on to the fact that we only go up anyone who's listening to this and is doing chemistry is planning on doing chemistry take heart things have changed so you probably won't have to go through what we went through as a stream but my advice to you is you need to be firm chemistry is no joke chemistry is very hard and it demands a lot it's hard but i'm not saying it's impossible it's very possible if you give yourself the time your books are your friends your teacher should be your best friend the internet if you feel like you're lost in chemistry please put your hand up don't tell yourself that you're going to deal with this later when you're now ready or whatever the excuse is you have everything at your disposal books teachers internet friends uh there's a lot there's a lot that you could use for you to get a better understanding of chemistry and then with extra lessons i'm not saying you shouldn't do extra lessons it's really up to you if you feel the need to do extra lessons go for it if you feel you can do it by yourself go for it but then when you're doing it by yourself it's a lot difficult you need to be willing to annoy your teacher because there are some things you can't get by yourself whatever works for you do just that chemistry is fun if you know what you're doing i really wish someone told me this long before i I started a level i didn't have many friends who were doing a level by the time i chose my subject so i had little information i'd hear people saying a level is hard but no one would actually sit down and tell me how hard it is let me tell you a level is not a joke it is not a joke but it is very doable it is hard but it is doable it's been done before there are many sites that you can visit to better your marks to get a better understanding um the one that i loved the most it was i think it was chem guide that one is the best if you're one person that doesn't like to read a lot they give you short notes but i'm not saying read that only have your notes or your textbook on the side just for reference 
and also use your syllabus let me tell you a level this is for any subject please 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 read your you should know your syllabus not not cram it you should know your syllabus if you're going to be studying have a checklist look at your syllabus take the if you feel you don't understand put an asterisk on it but always refer to your to not study without a syllabus i am begging you because some things if you are not careful you might be reading things that are off the syllabus so the syllabus basically tells you what you should be reading what you should know and i think that sort of um lessens the burden do you understand but yeah anyway in conclusion it can be done it's hard but it can be done so anyone who's doing chemistry or is planning on doing chemistry please give yourself time to understand don't leave things for later